Hey everybody, welcome to Bible Time with Dave. No, that's, that's not what we're calling this. As you know, as a church, as a group of believers, we're going to be marching through the book of Luke from now all through Christmas, through the new year, all the way through Easter. We're going to be going about a chapter a week. We're going to have a weekend teaching on that. And as a way to just focus ourselves on this and really kind of elevate the value of scriptural engagement, because we think that interacting with the scriptures is actually one of the most transformative things that you can do. We're gonna have our staff just do a weekly devotional. And so various staff are gonna be doing that throughout the year and through the first part of the year. I'm gonna be handling uh, the first couple through uh, Christmas. And so we're gonna be looking at this week the introduction to the book of Luke, which is Darth Vader's favorite gospel. I'm so sorry about that joke. Um, and so to get into this, I wanted to talk a little bit about a conversation my daughter and I had. We were on the way to school and she was asking me all these questions. And she asked me the following question. She said, Daddy, how do we know that the stories about Jesus are true and not just made up? Because lots of different religions say lots of different things. She then asked me another question. She said, is that white Porsche over there an expensive type of car? Or is that the type of car that we could maybe someday get? Because I quote, really like it. Now one of those questions is easier than the other to answer. We're not getting a Porsche. But this question about how do we know that the story about Jesus is not just made up is answered in part, historically, by Luke's very first words in this gospel. This is what Luke says, and this is how he starts off his book, which was written to some believers and some early believers in Jesus Christ. Many have undertaken to draw up an account of the things that have been fulfilled among us just as they were handed down to us by those who were the first eyewitnesses and the servants of the word. Therefore, since I myself have carefully investigated everything from the beginning, it seemed good also to me to write an orderly account to you, most excellent Theophilus, so that you may know the certainty of the things that you have been taught. Here we have Luke, who was a physician, investigating with a scientific mind the veracity of the truths of the things about Jesus and then writing them down. Now, undoubtedly, there were others who wrote this stuff down too. They wrote down the words of Jesus, the teachings of Jesus, the sayings of Jesus, the miracles of Jesus. And Luke is investigating all of this like an investigative journalist or a physician or a scientist researching the truth of these claims and he's writing them down. Now, this is important because he says this is based on eyewitnesses, and he says this has been handed down by those who were there. It reminds me of another moment in uh, 1 Corinthians 15 when Paul says something very remarkably similar. He says, now, brothers and sisters, I want to remind you of the gospel which I preached to you, which you received and by which you have taken your stand. By this gospel you are saved. For what I received, I passed on to you as first importance. This is what Paul is saying. He goes on to say all the things that are important, that Christ died for our sins, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day, and that he appeared to Peter, and then to the 12. And after that, he appeared to more than 500 of the brothers at the same time, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. And then he appeared to James and all the apostles, and then to me, and, and so he goes on. This, this is what Paul is saying. This is what John is saying, that the, 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 what makes Christianity distinct, what makes Jesus distinct, is that Jesus is interacting with real history. I, for years I was an English teacher and we would teach the stories of the Greek and the Roman myths about, about their gods. And these stories are important and true, but they're the product of creative minds trying to tell stories that are fictional about the way that the world works. Greek, Zeus never really interacted with anyone and these stories are not based in history, they're based in imagination. But this, Luke says, is based in real history, which is why when I answer my daughter, how do we know the stories about Jesus are not made up, I would say because history is cracked wide open between the time before this man came on the scene and by the time he came on the scene. And all of history has been changed because of this person of Jesus, because he really interacted with real people and real history. So as you read Luke's gospel, as you interact, Luke is taken by this man who is no mere man. We see Luke's physician heart come out in the way that Jesus takes care of the humanity of those who are broken, who are poor, who are at risk. And you'll see through Luke's gospel a story about God coming, interacting with human history. Changed Luke, may it change you too.